you know traditionally uh, when we were growing in our careers and i remember even 20 years back when i started my leadership journey we were all working with managers who would call us when we would not perform right and it was a very natural process wherein uh, you know someone would call us in uh, and we used to call those uh, processes as performance interviews performance review discussions or whatever uh, while i haven't had that frequency of uh, sitting in those sessions because luckily fortunately i was able to deliver but i have always been at the other end doing this to other people and i realized quite early on and then i changed my process of looking at it completely and because it was a transition that happened to me as a leader is that we are always doing things the way we were taught right and typically performance interviews is a uni direction it's a one way street at the end of the day so what does a manager do when someone is not delivering he would call a person ask for reasons and try and understand why performance is not happening and why uh, you know he or she is not able to deliver to the expected targets this is a very unfortunately a very inadequate and a process that is designed to fail it doesn't last and doesn't make any significant difference and i call it the therapy zone you know in my uh, book also i wrote a book a few years back i mentioned about this and i call it as counseling and therapy zone and actually it doesn't deliver any results and then i talked about a zone called as coaching zone you know what is coaching zone coaching zone begins with the concept of what the father of human psychology talked about is the human iceberg and what is human iceberg and if you really look at any natural iceberg you know 10% of it is visible to the naked eye 90% of it is below the sea level so the human iceberg is similar the 10% that is visible is the how and what of your life how is the behavior what is the results and the actions that you deliver right and counseling and therapy doesn't work because it's always dealing with the 10% of the iceberg the 90% nobody deals with no manager no leader in this world is ever dealing with it and that's the permanent failure of the whole process and that's why we never ever change people completely to bring about that reform to bring about that transition in that person you have to deal with the 90% of the iceberg and that 90% of the iceberg is where our subconscious and unconscious mind is sitting that is where our painful memories are sitting that is where whatever we have learned rightly or wrongly from our parents is sitting that is where all our painful memories all our frustration all our stress all our anxiety all our challenges of life wherever we could not deliver due to some reasons is sitting and you need help to unlearn and let go of that until unless your why and i call it the why zone right and i call it the why zone for a reason because that's what is affecting your how and what which is in the 10% of the iceberg and all processes of feedback in this world are revolving around the 10% and that's a failure of the process you can only make a significant difference to an individual when you coach him or her about this 90% of the iceberg and that's what i call as the coaching zone and that's where subjects like personality psychology subjects like psychometric assessments subjects like assessment center and development centers really help and you would be very uh, happy to know that i take pride in saying that i have at least helped thousands of individuals in their lives actually deal with their why which permanently changed the how and the what so i am someone whose own life was changed because other gurus dealt with my why and i have done the same to various other hundreds and thousands of people and i have proof of evidence to believe that coaching works counseling and therapy does not work and that's why i am someone who is a proponent and a very strong ambassador of promoting coaching and assessment centers i really strongly believe in it and i would promote it as a concept for all organizations to embrace